Time to take a look at another demo. Though I have to admit, I'm not sure this one really met the requirements of the competition it was entered in. Bit of an oddity, I suppose. Okay. It's very pleasant down there. You're being a lay and all. You would rather not spend your time venturing in a sewer, but you've been running low on healing water and need to fix the pipes. Uh, no. So what's going on here? Is this like the town or something? Okay. Do you have anything for you, mistress? Uh, purchase. Oh, we gotta save here, too. Okay, so we're too broke to buy anything. Gotcha. And we have nothing to sell. <laughs> Joy. Well, we gotta fix the pipes, I guess. Well, no. So they're using, like, a wild arm style uh, system? Interesting. Okay, I can do a lake sweep. Okay, why do I have two moves that stun, man? That's that's a bit weird. Especially if they're both free. Okay. And it's dead, okay. How much money are we gonna get? Ten. Of course. Okay, can I even leave? No, once you enter the dungeon, you can't even leave the dungeon. Like... Body attack. Oh, I'll take care of that, I suppose. Sweet. Okay, that attack's been on the slow side. Well, let's go fix that leaky pipe if we can find it. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Do a body attack, man. I know, I know, I can sweep the lane. But I don't feel like it. I guess a lot of these characters have uh, two weapons on, so they get the dual attack. Okay, we've learned a new move. War Cry. Well, just gotta keep moving forward, I suppose. Oh no, great. Now we gotta deal with bats. Well, attack again. Okay, War Cry. Stuns all enemies. Like, guaranteed stun of all enemies? Or potential fail to stun all enemies? Like, I can potentially get all of them or not? Because if I can just stun everybody, that's kind of a broken ability. I mean, as long as he's faster, he can basically rush any enemy. And he can do so for free. Okay, let's see if this hack misses. Gosh darn, he keeps they keep ending the fights too fast. I can't test out if his power is broken or not. I really want to. It's not like I can heal down here. And the inability to leave, and you know, I kind of got stuck with whatever I got. And we can't pull up the menu to save either, so who knows how far we'll get. Damn, is this place huge. War cry. Okay, so it can fail. But how likely is it to fail? That's the next question. But, okay. Ugh. Just stick with the basic attacks for now. I see no reason to, you know, not just spam the basic move if we can. Okay, so we found a switch. Well, we got the, uh, beat the dungeon. Yay. Okay. No. I, I think that's it. That's all we can do. Um, save. 
Um, let's see. I guess we can see the menu. That seems kind of useless. Oh, wait. We gotta, like, change out our equipment here. Okay. Well, they basically all have poles. They get the double attack? Why? At, at any rate, I probably shouldn't worry about that. Purchase. Can I get anything actually useful? Well, I can buy some scrolls so I can do some magic damage. Okay, we can upgrade our uh, weapons. A bit. Created from a farming tool? Yeah, I know what it was created from. Can I get more of the, uh... More money? Let me buy some fairy shoes or life rings. Life rings actually sound like they'd be really good, especially if we can farm that money from that one thing. Um, save. Yeah, we already did that, but I'll do it again. Oh, so this just takes me right back into the dungeon. So it adds an exit after I beat it. What nonsense is this? That doesn't answer my question. Do I get to get the, the 500 again if I go to the end and flip it? Okay. Of course, getting there is going to take a while. Like another five minutes, right? After all, without better gear, there's not much we can do besides just basic attacks. Come on. Well, even if we had better weapons, we'd still be doing basic attacks. We'd just be doing more damage. But that life uh, option is just too good to pass up. We had the funds. Well, apparently this first maze was designed to be beaten pretty easily. Just, just follow the walls. Though the chest didn't respawn, so I guess not. Does that mean if I get to the switch, I can't exit and I have to work my way all, all the way back? Because this is a tech demo that only has this first dungeon and that shop. That's it. So it doesn't really give you a full test, you know, of what this system could have been like, I suppose. But I want to see if the money can be farmed. Just to see if they're going in the right direction with it. Oh, uh, let's see. Can I flip it? Okay, so we can farm the money option. Okay, but there's nowhere else to go or anything to do. I mean, yes, I could upgrade my character's gears and get more and more levels. And I s still don't know why they disabled the freaking menu button and hide it in here. And plus, you can't stay here to rest. Like, there's no in option. Like, I have to heal using, you know, potions, which I'd have to buy from clearing the first dungeon. I call that somewhat questionable design there. Uh, cause it's not like I can go through there, you know, and go to an actual town. Ugh, kinda lame. But it is a tech demo, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised it's not that great. And it was made in four hours, so you get, again, you know, it's the limitations that are getting in the way, I think. Though, why this was made for a contest that's meant to be about, you know, bad sequels that we're gonna make anyway, I have no idea, cause I don't know if this is meant to be like a spoof or sequel to. Till next time, then. See ya.